Hello everyone, I am Kalamusha and today I'm going to be reviewing a show that I should have reviewed about a week ago, but since I was slacking on all my reviews, I ended up missing a week. Actually, more like two weeks because this one, you know, I didn't do episode four of this. So I'm skipping straight to episode five, and today's review is going to be about Mandaji episode five. Yes, the whole name is not Mandaji. In fact, the whole name is in the title, and I'm not going to say that name because it's not really a short name, and I don't want to say it because I would ruin it. All right, let's go ahead and start with the art. The art for this episode was really good. Um, I can't really say too much else because it's the same art, except for um, nothing real different. Um, art styles they did was uh, the effects during the battle, like that happened in the episode, because there was actually some interesting effects used. All right, let's go ahead and get on with the sound. Same as before, nothing new. Um. Uh, at most, I would comment on the thing, a certain person, make, uh, you know, that was just introduced kind of at the end. Not really at the end, but, you know, something they had to fight. I ain't going to go into detail because it's a spoiler. It made an interesting sound, that's all I can say, because, well, it's not a voice actor. Well, well I mean, it could have been, but I don't count screeching as a voice. If that was actually talking, I don't know that language because it's not Japanese, Chinese, any language. It's just be roaring, I guess. So as far as I know, I don't have a voice actor. Well, it might, but I don't know it. And I wouldn't say that's a good job of them making a big screeching noise. But yeah, I still have to do with the heart. And it ain't really me complaining about that, uh, the thing screeching because, well, I'm just saying, I, I don't think it's an actual, I should be listing a, many new, you know, voice actor for it, because it's just that, screech, you know. Alright, for the plot for this episode was, uh, it was actually really good. In this episode, they had to go up against, um, the Perseus guy. I can't remember his name because I didn't like him and I didn't feel the need to remember his name. But yeah, they had to go up against him and his um, community and um, it was pretty good because it showed teamwork for the uh, no names. Because, uh, you know, usually they like to go out on their own and, you know, try to be singular badasses, but this one they actually teamed up to, you know, get to the main guy and that's the whole you know and, and they did fight the main guy I ain't gonna go into details about what happened but stuff happened as I, as I always did stuff you know he punched stuff and um he showed you know some of his skills not gonna say what happened but I can say though um that I I'm thinking that Azaioi is probably, in my opinion, the actual main character for the show. And I, well, I mean, I'm going to say the, the, like, the singular main character, but there's the three, you know, main main characters, I guess. But he's the, the strongest, I guess, out of them. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with that. <laughs> but yeah, Azaioi. Is a badass, and um, this episode was really good. You know, it showed off, uh, you know, quite a good battle. Um, some of the plot developed a little bit, um, and we got to see a little bit of what as I always power might be, because well, I still don't quite understand his power really, but they. They briefly touched up on it, barely. Like they kind of like, blah 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 blah. That might be his power, blah. But yeah, they didn't really go into it. It's probably going to change by like episode ten. But currently, 
In this episode, they do talk about his power slightly. If that is even his power, it could just be whatever. Them just talking about how strong he is. And, um, oh no, it was actually a pretty good episode. I liked it. And I'm going to have to give it a 4.5 out of 5 because, well, I liked the episode. I mean, I wouldn't give it a bad score if I didn't like it. I mean, if I didn't like it, I would give it a bad score. And if I liked it, you know, of course I would give it a pretty good score. That's why 4.5 seems like a reasonable number for me. And once again, I do enjoy the interaction between Zayoi and Curse, uh, God, Kurosagi, or I think it's Kurosagi. Yeah, Kurosagi. I don't remember her name. I don't know, for some reason, Kuro always makes me think of Kuro Neko, but, you know, black cat, black rabbit, you know, different animals. And, um, on all other, um, this was a good episode. If you watched the other five, I mean, other four, of course you'll be watching this, so. I doubt you're gonna be watching um, like this for you know to see if you're gonna actually watch this episode because you, know, you already know that I like the show and I'll probably say watch this because I will say that uh, currently this is going to be one of the few shows of the winter season that I will finish all the way through there's a couple others but this one's the like, one of the better of the season. And that'll be it for this review. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you didn't enjoy it, please tell me in the comments why you, you did not enjoy it. Don't just say, the review sucked. Tell me why it sucked. Oh my goodness. It's not that hard. I had someone who felt to comprehend that. And, you know, sometimes... They annoy me. Alright, but yeah. Uh, that'd be it for this review. And I hope you enjoy, like, you know, your brief moment that I don't have a review because I will probably be doing episode 6, which should be coming out in a couple days. So, see you then.